Welcome to this new video about mitral valve segmentation using 4D MV assessment, a software by TomTech and part of the TomTech Arena platform. The software is organized in three work interfaces where the actual segmentation takes place, plus one dedicated to result analysis and additional manual measures. This is the first of these interfaces. Now the first task is to manually adjust the automatic selection of the end-diastolic and end-systolic frames. The software will automatically compute the mid-systolic frame where the segmentation will be carried out. It is also possible to modify this selection by clicking on this button. Now it's time to orient the 3D volume according to the instruction in the sidebar. First, we move these two long axis plane perpendicular to the mitral valve annulus plane. Then we drag down this blue line in order to have a better image in the short axis panel. And we spin this light blue line until it is parallel to the aortic profile. The result is a three chamber view in the corresponding panel. It is now time to place the seven landmarks four for the annulus, one for the coaptation point, one for the aortial mitral continuity, and one for the lower edge of the aortic annulus. We can now proceed to the static model review. In this interface, the operator is supposed to check the automatic extraction of the leaflets and the annulus point and override it when necessary. It is possible to spin this yellow plane and this purple plane to look at the valve from different perspective. We can adjust the annulus points, the posterior leaflet colored by red and the anterior leaflet blue. We can now pass to the dynamic model review. We can stop the clip and analyze the valve frame by frame. Again, spinning the two planes, we can adjust the anterior, the posterior leaflets and the annulus points. Once the dynamic model review is completed, we can go to the analysis. Here is possible to Review the model to look at each variable that the software has automatically extracted. It is also possible to make some manual measures. and to review the dynamic variables. It is also possible to play the clip and look at the movement of the mitral model. At the end of the process, it is possible to save the result as a text file and to export the clip. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.